there are a handful of rare Pokemon that can only be caught in very specific parts of the world. But of all the locations with exclusive Pokemon, there's only one that I've heard people say they're afraid to visit. When I told people I was going to catch that Pokemon, the response was, be careful, it's dangerous, and are you sure you want to go there? Well, today I'm setting out on an adventure to find that Pokemon in its natural habitat in one of the world's most beautiful and misunderstood countries. But first, while I'm here at the airport waiting for my flight, how about a massive Halloween shiny check cluster? No, nope, nope. No, 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 uh, no, no. Another pump, another phantom. No, Ooh, no, no. Other, other Piplup? About the Zorua. And no. One more Zorua. No. Oh, my eggs are so close to hatching. All right, well, my flight is boarding now. A few hours on a plane down south and I touched down in one of the biggest cities on earth, an urban area of over 20 million people, the most populated metropolitan area outside of Asia. Welcome to Mexico City. You'd think finding a Pokemon in such a massively populated city would be easy, but I wouldn't be here for long, and I started running into problems pretty quickly. We're here in Mexico City with my compañeros for this trip. Hola, Steven, hola, hola. Pelo, Larry. You might remember the crew from last year's adventure when Steven and I came to Mexico for Pelo and Larissa's wedding. Man, now, now that we're here, we can finally start looking for this Pokemon. First of all, 10.9 out of 8 kilometers means I should have eggs hatching right now. Oh, Ooh, wow. okay, 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 okay. Someone start it. I don't want to do it. Go I'm it. bad luck. Boop. Shiny. All right, well, that was that's the least exciting one. Now the 12 case. Okay, what do we have? Sand, Ooh. sand dial. The female, what is, oh, Pancham. that could be, please. Oh, is it oh, female? Nice. Pancham. Oh. No, I mean, physically, ah. nope. this one is. Oh, man. okay, okay. Now, yes. one one fake reaction, like a, like a shiny, okay? Okay, okay ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! Because oh, I actually hatched one. Oh, like, you actually oh, got nice. Yeah, I hatched it like yesterday cool. morning. I oh. actually hatched Shiny Ponyard. So we're in Mexico City right now, the biggest city, the capital of Mexico. And if there's any place that I should be able to find this Pokemon, this is it. However, in this massive city, there are none nearby. And I feel like it's going to be more difficult because we still have the Halloween event going on. And then immediately following that, we have the Day of the Dead event. So there's gonna be a lot of event spawns taking over the natural spawns, making this uh, more difficult than it needs to be. Cliff's here, Cliff's here. So I did get a 12K, or a shiny out of the 12K, but I still haven't gotten a shiny from a rocket leader. And I've been trying, you know, if you saw the last video, I've been trying to get these new shadow shinies. So we have a lot planned for the week here in Mexico. I'm really excited about it. Obviously, the main goal is to find Halucha, but I am kind of concerned about like how difficult it's gonna be. With all the events going on, with all the traveling we're doing, Come this on. would be a sick welcome to Mexico. Please, shiny right here. Oh, all right. Close. Oh, it's weather boosted though. <laughs> weather boosted though, IV check. Oh, no sign of the new Pokemon yet, but we were starving. So we went and did the first thing you do when you get to Mexico. Go to a taqueria and order more food than you can fit on the table. After dinner, I sat down with Pello because I needed to know. All right, I don't want to ask you. Do you think it's fair to say, like, as a blanket statement, Mexico is dangerous? Mm, I don't think so. I think that um, it it we def we definitely live a little different, but not not something that would affect somebody traveling here. You know, you just gotta be a little bit careful in certain ways. You know, my dad has been robbed like twice walking down the street you just gotta be aware of where you are you know i think everywhere yeah. if you travel everywhere you, you you need to know where exactly you're going where you should go and where you shouldn't go where we are mostly going it's safe areas most of the crime i think would be in the north part of the country towards the border that's because of uh, the the drug cartels and everything mm. i invite everyone 
to come see our country and uh, and feel safe because I don't I don't think it's generally unsafe, you know. Yeah. I know, man. Let's go see it. Yeah. <laughs> It's getting late, uh, I just showered, getting ready for bed, just kind of spent the evening catching up. Look who finally showed up. My first Halucha sighting, and it's, well, it's not close. I'm definitely not walking that far tonight. Uh, we have to get up super early in the morning to head out, but it's good to know that it's not gonna be impossible to find during the events that are going on. <sighs> All right, early start tomorrow. And the real adventure begins. Good night. It's 5 a.m. I'm battling Arlo. We woke up before the sunrise to start a six hour drive to the south of Mexico, trying to beat the morning traffic. And in a city of 20 million, there was definitely going to be traffic. We're here on the side of the highway getting breakfast, some tamales uh, from a spot that Pella likes. And oh, egg hatching. Just wanted to see if there were any halucha nearby, and there are not. There's none. None. Gracias. It's good. Corn drink. Yeah. I like it, dude. It, it is good. It's like it's like drinking coffee and soup at the same time. <laughs> to the Airbnb in Oaxaca and uh, this is my first look at Pokemon Go in Oaxaca. Honestly, it looks pretty nice. We have two Pokestops right here and a bunch of spawn points, but no Halucha. No Halucha in sight. That's right. Today is also the last day of the Halloween event. It is Halloween. It's October 31st, but Halloween's not that big of a deal in Mexico. The real fun starts tomorrow with Dia de los Muertos which is the reason that we're here in Oaxaca. All right, no shinies here, but Sierra actually, you know what? I'm gonna battle Sierra. Quick shiny check and then, oh, dude. Oh my God. Oh, oh my wow, God, nice. I got it. Bro, look at that, That's how's so that? Pretty. Welcome to Oaxaca <laughs> with a shiny shadow sable eye. Oh. That's so pretty, man. I was tired from sitting in the car for six hours, but that woke me up. I bet they're bad. 317, <laughs> probably pretty bad. What? That's actually... That's pretty good. That's not terrible for a shiny shadow. Oh, okay. Vamos a comer. Let's go. Let's go. We are in the central market here, looking for lunch. Wait, I thought you said there was a lot of Pokestops here. There was. What is that? Corsola? Oh, Corsola what? spawns here? Okay. So we we're we're at like the southern end of Mexico. Uh, Oaxaca, the state, is on the southern coast. The city of Oaxaca is 
pretty far inland. I didn't realize that Corsola would still be spawning here, but that's, that's a nice surprise. I guess right now we're wandering through the maze of the market to try to find the food area. I guess the market itself doesn't really have any Pokestops, but whatever's over there looks crazy. I don't know what area that is, but it looks insane. Um, still no Halucha here, and we are just wandering through this maze as a shiny check, trying to find the food section. Any shinies? No, 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 Halucha, no. Still looking for food. We're still looking for food, but look at this. Look, look, look. Halucha showed up and it is, wow, it's not close, but it's over in that crazy area where all those Pokestops are. I don't know if that's like the city center, but my God, that looks like a crazy place to play. Um, we're not gonna be able to get over there right now. We are still looking for food. And then we have a tour guide coming to join us and show us around afterwards. So I don't think we're gonna be able to, well, oh, and it's gone. Oh, no. It's literally oh, gone oh. now. So, never mind. We'll get it at some point. I smell food though. I think we're getting closer. Gracias. 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 Today's lunch is Tlayuda, which is, um, it's like a traditional Oaxacan food, right? Yes. It's from this region and there's, I. There's a restaurant, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants in Long Beach, makes a tlayuda, so I'm very excited to have like this very authentic one. Okay, describe it to me. Tell, tell me what's on it. A really big tortilla, beans, fresh cheese, and tasajo, they call it. It's so good. Yeah. I realize that Mike is right here. It's just gonna be the sound of me chewing. That's it. <laughs> Louder than you talking. We made it out of the market. Uh, we're going to pick up a guide now who's gonna take us to, to like traditional artisans. Yeah. There, dude, there's a halucha right now and it know. is, no, it's nowhere no, near. But it's, it's over, over there in that crazy area again. But that definitely seems like the spot to go. Yeah. Wait, oh, we're, no, we're turning the other way. Yeah. We're actually kind of driving into the area with all the Pokestops to pick up our guide. We're kind of, oh my, dude, it's crazy over here. I was just looking this way and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not, we're not turning that way. It's literally, and of course, now that we're over here, there's no, yeah, there's, not a there's no halucha <laughs> right now, but dude, this place looks nuts. I had no idea Pokemon Go was like this here. So we got a quick preview of the incredible in-game landscape, but we quickly left the city center as our guide took us to the first destination. Don Jose is a sculptor who works with red clay. He lost his sight 23 years ago and continues to work with the help of his wife and children. We're here in Don Jose's workshop and there's a tree house. <laughs> there's a tree house. So why not do a few shiny checks up here in the tree house? because that would be a really cool place to get a shiny. Well, the service is a little slow. Having this Duskull as my buddy right now is like, it's so cool because the entire city, the entire country is decorated with the Simpa Suchil flowers for Dia de Muertos that's coming up tomorrow. It's not an event spawn right now, it's just, it's Zorua disguised as my buddy, but tomorrow. So let's see if I can get the shiny Zorua before the event ends. Get a couple more quick shiny checks because it's after five o'clock already and the Halloween event ends at 8 p.m. I haven't gotten a single shiny. The service is a little slow. Oh, tiny Pikachu. I'll, I'll take that, that's something, right? But I have not gotten a single Halloween shiny and, and honestly with three hours left, it doesn't look like I'm going to. Just a quick Halucha check. No Halucha nearby, but maybe when the event ends tonight, be able to find some a little easier. 
From there we drove up into the hills. Unfortunately though, I had no cell service here, so no halucha. But we were here to meet artisans who specialize in making alebrijes, wooden animal sculptures painted in incredibly detailed patterns from the indigenous Zapotec people. A large portion of the people living in Oaxaca are Zapotec, and they've worked very hard to keep their culture alive. Doña Pati is a weaver who uses pre-colonial techniques to make beautiful textiles, and Don Julio works with black clay using Zapotec tools and methods to craft incredibly detailed pieces. Halfway through talking with Don Julio though, he was drowned out by a parade coming down the street, and we got our first taste of the festivities that would be going down for the next few days. The entire parade stopped right in front of the workshop, and we couldn't leave because that is our car. Once we finally got out, we got stopped and had to wait for another parade to pass. Let me tell you now, this would not be the last time. We are back in the city center, and it's crazy out here tonight. Uh, first of all, no halucha nearby, but there's only 30 minutes left of the Halloween event. Number one, I still have no Halloween shiny, zero, so 30 minutes left to find one. And then, after those 30 minutes are up, maybe halucha will appear. Phantom, dude, the real goal tonight is dinner. That's the most important thing because, oh, dude, there's a Keckley on here. Sick. Oh, oh my God, I need it for the reason. And not shiny, but cool. Look at how many Pokestops. Yeah, I know, it's outrageous. To be honest, as soon as that plate of tacos hit my hand, I forgot about everything else that has ever existed <laughs> in the world, including Pokemon. But we're in the car now, we're headed back home. The Halloween event has ended. I just hatched a niggly buff. I got no shiny for the Halloween event. And there's no Halucha nearby. There's none right now. Right now is kind of the best time over the next few days to find it because there are no event spawns. We're in a slight lull between events because tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., the Day of the Dead event starts and we're going to have event spawns again. So I'm going to keep an eye on the nearby as we head back to the Airbnb, but I'm pretty tired and uh, I mean, I don't think we're going back out tonight. We're going home and we're going to sleep. So if nothing shows up between here and there, that might be it for Dude, this is only day, it's not even day two. It's like day 1.5. I was like making myself stressed, but like I've literally only been here for like 36 hours. So <laughs> it's still early. We have plenty of time. Okay, it's day two in Oaxaca. It's breakfast time. There is one halucha that is not, that's not close at all. Okay, well, we're having quesadillas for breakfast. Shiny, check this lechonk. There's no event on right now, but the Day of the Dead event starts really soon. So, is, uh, I mean, if there's only one halucha now, it's probably only gonna get worse. Once we finished eating, we had to get in the car and start heading up the mountain because Pella wanted us to get there before the crowds of other tourists. Oh, God, I'm gonna get sick trying to film this in here on this mountain road. Um, so, we, wait. No, the event just started. Are you serious? It actually did. 10 o'clock, it oh literally God, just no. started. Did you record that? There's one Halucha left. I was about to say we were like driving up to one my entire there. nearby was covered <laughs> with halucha and we were coming up to a Pokestop <laughs> where there was a halucha <laughs> and the Day of the Dead event just started. Oh, there's a Duskull. Duskull's back, which is amazing. It's cute. I love it. But halucha is not the way we're going. Today's adventure starts here at Monte Alban, which is uh, 
huge historical site, very important site in the Mesoamerican history. And our tour guide today is Pello. He's gonna be showing us around and explaining everything that he remembers from his last visit here. So we're here at Monte Alban. These people carved out a straight flat area out of this mountain. We can see something really cool, which is that our 20 peso bill has uh, Monte Alban. See how it's pictured exactly from here. I'm taking over for tour guide Pello briefly to share some facts that I know as I'm dressed like Steve Irwin or uh, an archeologist here to discover the treasures of Oaxaca. While we also do some shiny checks because I didn't get any shinies during the Halloween event, but behind us is Oaxaca, the city of Oaxaca, the capital of the state of Oaxaca. And this valley, the, the valley that the city is in is the most populated area in the state because most of it is covered in mountains and there just isn't that much livable flat area. So this is the most densely populated city in the state of Oaxaca and no shinies. Also though, hold on, look, there's not gonna be any halucha probably today, but we have the new Cubone with the Sempasuchil crown. And honestly, we're kind of putting the halucha hunt on pause because I got the shiny dust skull last year during Day of the Dead. And we're here in Oaxaca, the place with like the biggest Dia de los Muertos celebration probably in the entire world. So to find the shiny Cubone for the Day of the Dead event, I mean, that's, that's a huge, that's a huge goal. Okay guys, welcome <laughs> to the next part of the tour. Hello. <laughs> here we see four temples that uh, basically signal for north, east, south, and on the west we got two columns, the place where they did most of the spiritual rituals. Just, just, just the uh, priests. So we're here in like the main courtyard area now. My service has been pretty spotty up here. It's kind of good up there. It's kind of bad here. It's, I don't know. But there is a Cubone with the crown over in that corner. So I'm gonna see if I have service over there so we can get our first shiny check in. Later in the day, we visited a museum filled with artifacts found at Monte Alban, and while the structures alone are incredibly impressive, seeing the sculptures, the jewelry, the tools makes the place seem so much more alive. These civilizations had such an advanced understanding of the earth and the stars, and I can't help but wonder how they would have continued to develop given a couple more centuries without European influence. I'm gonna climb up to the top here, because maybe I'll have service at the top, because the Cubone is right here. I just, I can't, I can't see it. Well, it's windy up here. <laughs> is it really that much higher? Okay, I have, oh, oh, no. Cubone? Everything spawned but we're too late. Now that I have service, I can see that the Cubone is not here anymore, but there is a Cubone uh, down there. <laughs> That's all right, we'll get some Duskull shiny checks in. Maybe, slowly, no shiny. Takes about 10 seconds per shiny check. No shiny, no shiny, no. Oh, it actually works so much faster right here. No shiny, no, oh, tiny. Never mind, I lost it. Say boy, no, no. Oh. Okay. Our next stop is. There's fireworks, there's fireworks. Our next stop is here, El Arbol del Tule. It's a big tree. It's a big tree. Look, if you've been around long enough, you know I'm a big fan of big trees and. Yeah, this is a big, this is a big tree. We have the cutest little tour guide showing us all the figures in the tree right now. Oh, not only is there a giant tree, but like this plaza is crazy for Pokemon Go. There's five gyms here, including a Cubone raid. Should we do it? Oh my God. I wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is my first Cubone shiny check. 
Not shiny, but dude, it's beautiful. I want to do the raid. It is so beautiful. Let me get some shiny checks in before we get in the raid. There's a dusk skull. Ya mask? Dude! Oh my god. Yes. Look at that. That's so sick. Yes. Congratulations. That's amazing, bro. I didn't get any Halloween shinies. Right I mean, oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah, no Halloween shinies, but like, come on. Shiny your mask? That's my first one. That is amazing. Oh, there's Phantom too. I'm glad this is still spawning because, again, didn't get it during the Halloween event. We're going to hop into a Cubone raid. The Cubone is wearing the Sempa Sucho crown, obviously, to celebrate Dia de Muertos all over Oaxaca, all over. Did I miss the. Did, did you start? Since I've gotten here to Mexico, the entire country, but especially here in Oaxaca, is decorated and ready to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. So later today, tonight, the festivities really start, and I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully, to go along with it, should we do it together? Yeah, three, get a two, one. Shiny. You went early. He already went it. I didn't Boom. get it. Ah, uh, nobody. nobody. So, no shiny yet, but we have two full days of this event to find it. For the third time in the last two days, we're parked on a parade route. <laughs> we're back in the city center now to actually grind for some Cubone. We're gonna look for this Cubone with the Sempa Sucho crown and take in the sights out here. There are a ton of Pokestops and no Halucha, no Cubone nearby, but we'll see what happens. For some reason, despite how many Pokestops there are here, there really aren't a lot of spawns, so we actually kind of need to use incense here. I can reach like eight Pokestops, 10 Pokestops, and there's there's two spawns. So if we're gonna have a chance of finding this Cubone, we need help. What is that? Oh, Flabebe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see, Cubone, not shiny. I also have a Cubone here in research. Not shiny. Three, two, one, go. We're all feeling pretty tired, so we're gonna sit down right here because we just found the craziest spot. One, two, three, four, five, six Pokestops all lured up, and we're just gonna grind and farm some shinies without using our legs for a little bit. Two hours later. So I just told Steven, I'm probably not gonna record any more clips tonight unless I get a shiny. <laughs> Literally, as the sentence ended, Oh, another Sableye. <laughs> another Sableye. This one's not Shadow. Shinies and Pokeballs always. Let's go. Congrats. The Shinies are out tonight. We just need to transfer some of that over to a Cubone. And there's none right now. Five minutes later. Bro, this spot is cracked. I mean, <laughs> oh, okay. And look, it's Roselia, <laughs> but like, we were just what a crazy about. spot. This is makeup for not getting anything during Halloween. Yeah. It turns out our grind spot was right along the parade route, so we're leaving our lures behind and joining the party. <laughs> Last shiny check, though. We're trapped by parades again. Huh? For like the fourth, fifth time. <laughs> we're fifth, trapped. Fifth time in the last two days, we're trapped by parade. Literally, parade literally. there, parade there, barricades. We can't get back to the car no, no. because we have to try to cross through the parade routes. And there's way more people down here. <laughs> it's amazing, honestly. I don't know. Thank you. Why? What are they? There will be so many people there. There are a parade coming our way already. Oh my god, there actually is. I love it. I don't I know. There's like I don't know. Time. There you go. My guy got a shiny. That's your first one, right? Yeah. For the event. Let's go. I was missing a drift room, so. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it really is never ending. We just say dinner and we're walking out into another parade. Dia de los Muertos isn't just about parades and parties. Throughout the city, we encountered dozens of beautiful altars constructed for family members and friends who have passed away. The belief is that the spirits of the dead come back to visit during this time of year, so celebrants build altars and leave offerings of their favorite foods and drinks for them. 
Dia de los Muertos is a holiday dedicated to honoring and remembering lost loved ones. It's a joyful, sentimental celebration of their lives, and we witnessed it firsthand in its most moving form the next morning. Good morning. It's day, it's day, I don't know what day it is. November 2nd, Dia de los Muertos, the last day of the event in Pokemon Go, the biggest day of the event in real life. To start the day off, we're having breakfast again with Doña Mari. We love the place so much. Yesterday we came back. Unfortunately, there are no Halucha nearby, nor are there any Cubone, but Steven just dropped a lure for us. So first shiny check of the day. I missed, and it despawned. Cool, first shiny check of the day will come later. If you come to Oaxaca, you gotta come visit Doña Mari, right here. That is the spot, I promise you. I promise you that's the spot. After breakfast, Doña Mari told us there was a cemetery just a few blocks from her shop where we could observe what immediately struck me as the most beautiful tradition of the entire Dia de los Muertos celebration. As soon as you step out of the cemetery, you're right back in the party. There's carnival games right outside. I love it. I don't know why I had the dust skull up to say that. I feel like you won't listen to me if I'm not playing Pokemon Go. I guess this is how it's gonna be today. We just got back in the car after leaving the cemetery. We're gonna go back into the center of town and try to grind for shinies and, well, I got one as soon as we got in the truck. Another Sableye. If you count the shadow, this is my third Sableye in Oaxaca. And the Sableye Whisperer. Come talk to me, Daxi. Oh my God. I don't know what's happening. Um, I, I don't know what's happening with this car ride, but did Dene? Oh. Whoa! What? Off the Yo, incense. That's, cool. that's a sick one. Like, though. full odds, not an event spawn, full odds shiny off the incense. Did Dene. Why always, why, why in the car today? <laughs> I swear we're not car grinding. We're literally just driving from the cemetery. <laughs> Hey yeah. Excellent. There we go. We're just driving from the cemetery to the city center to go grind. This is not the grind. This is just the trip. I'll take it. That's awesome. We're back in the city center. We're back in the park to grind. We have a Cubone raid behind us and there's also a wild Cubone right here. So let's see if I can carry that shiny luck from the car into the park. Not yet. And now for the raid. I'm using my free raid pass for the day. I don't want to resort to raiding out of desperation just yet, but there are only seven hours left of the Dia de los Muertos event, which means seven hours left to get this shiny. But on the plus side, after those seven hours end, it should be a lot easier to find Halucha. Let's stay focused on the task at hand though. Cubone, shiny check. Oh, once again, not a halucha in sight. Maybe later. We're back at the grind spot, but before I put some lures down, there are three. Duskull. Oh! Yeah. No way. Hey, let's go. Yes. Yo, everybody's getting it. I didn't even have to get to the third one. <laughs> so we're back. We're back at the blessed grind spot. I got two shinies here last night, two shinies in the car on the way over. I'm feeling good. If we can find enough Cubone today, I might be able to get the shiny. Gotcha. Duskull. Honestly, 
second most wanted. I did get it last year, but it's really cool to get one with the Sempasuchil crown in Oaxaca. And that's the goal for the Cubone as well. How about that last dust goal? Not shiny. All right, let's drop some lures. <sighs> I love it. Spawn after spawn and check after check, and surprisingly, not a single halucha spawned the entire time. I'm starting to think they don't like lures. We're packing it up, we're leaving the lures. We've been here almost an hour. I thought there was a Cubone. Oh, it, no, I probably missed it. We're all feeling kind of beat, a little tired right now. So we might go get some coffee, but we're definitely gonna go do this Cubone raid that you can't see because of party play. But I promise it's there. Oh, there's the Cubone. No. At this point, days of nonstop searching for Halucha and Cubone were really starting to catch up with me. I've hit a wall. I'm actually feeling so tired that my body hurts. Steven and Pello, this is actually really cool. I can see them on the map because they're in the party. They're walking over to the raid and don't hate me, but I'm going to join it remotely from the car because I really just need to lay down and take like a 10 minute nap. Oh, I just got the invite. There is also a Halucha, well, that's not close, but oh, hopefully it'll still be there after I rest and feel better. I'm joining, what, Wobby expired? What do you mean? Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna do it by myself then. <laughs> All right, Cubone, be nice to me, I'm tired. <sighs> nope, okay. I'm gonna miss out on some spawns if I take a nap, but you gotta listen to your body. Rest when you're tired. And I need rest. One hour later. <laughs> who got who got the shiny? I got a shiny. Which one? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Well we were grinding the whole time <laughs> off of that one that I one missed nothing. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah, we're coming we, for we, you. We need to edit this. Yeah. I know I just woke up. So we're sitting down for, is this lunch or dinner? I don't know, we're eating. And I have three Cubone checks here. So, one each, let's pass it around. Nah. Senor? I'm gonna go on the bottom. Ooh, ooh. And the last one for me, it's, no. We're posted up at a cafe now to get some work done because tomorrow morning we have another early morning. We're getting up and driving back to Mexico City. So we have some lures down. Steven and I are gonna do some work and Pella will be in charge of uh, Cubone callouts. If a Cubone spawns on the lures, he's gonna let us know so we can shiny check it. Cubone right now. Right now? No. Right now. Cafe's closing, we got some work done, and Steven. Bro. Shiny bell spread. I nice. thought it was off. We're running out of time. There are 50 minutes, less than one hour left for the Dia de los Muertos event. So we're gonna raid, ready up. I'll be honest, it is a tragedy that this event ends at 8 p.m. because the party here is gonna be going on all night long. Dia de Muertos is not over at 8 p.m. Three, two, one. Let's go. I missed. Oh my God, Nick. No. no. Oh, you know the drill. Event's almost over. 30 minutes left. Phone battery is dying. All of our chargers are fully depleted. We're just gonna go shiny checks only. No screen recordings. See if we can clutch out this shiny Cubone before the event ends. Ah, no. Awesome. He kept going. No, no. It's. Oh my god. All right. It's 7:59. The event's about to end, but we are almost to a raid that lasts for 10 more minutes, and that's probably going to be our last check because it just ticked over to 8 o'clock. Spawns went back to normal. We made it. Stephen and I made it. We don't know where Pello is. The raid's here. I have 2% on my battery. We want to wait for him but I don't know where he is. God. Where are you? At the raid. Oh, he's in the raid, yeah. Oh, he's in, he's in, he's in. Okay. Watch this not have the costume. Ah! Oh my God, no. is he serious? Oh, this is not even costume. It's not? 
Oh no. 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 Scammed. Oh, scammed. Wow. Scammed. Wow. Scammed. Niantic. Nah, this, nah, bro. So we were left stunned, but not entirely surprised that even though it still had a crown during the raid, the Cubone we encountered afterwards was bald. And just as we started to head home disappointed... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, there's a, I can't, I can't screen record. There is a Halucha. Oh, what? Right here. There it is. Ah! Oh my! Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> no way. No. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh my God. <laughs> Two slaps, one this way and coming back this way. No costume on the Cubone. Phone's dead, no Halucha. It would happen. It would happen the next. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. So early the next morning, we left Oaxaca without a Halucha, but don't worry. I had a plan. Enter the world of Lucha Libre. High octane, high flying, masked Mexican wrestling. This is the inspiration behind Halucha. So if there's one place, I'm gonna find this Pokemon. This has to be it. There's lures down, I'm gonna put on an incense, and Halucha will come flying in from the top rope sooner or later. The match has just ended, the night was crazy, and there are four Halucha nearby. The closest one is literally a block this way. We gotta go right now. Wait, it's green, it's a green. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, back. Oh, back. Oh, back. I was following Bello. Yeah, we're here. Where's it? I'm in the trees. Over here, over here. I got it. I got it. It's here. Is finally. It, it's, it's, it's finally here. Make it. Let's Look go. Oh my god. Halucha in Mexico. And just. Go on, go on. Okay. Golden berry, golden berry. Golden raspberry. Get it. Bro, this. It looks so much cooler after everything we just watched. Exactly. Excellent throw. First try. Ready? Get it. From the top rope. Down, down. Oh. Never mind. After all, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, it's a mid-core level. Hey, if you like this video, you want to see more from Mexico. They're on screen somewhere. <laughs>